Okay, I wanted to show an app that I just found randomly looking for something completely different and I thought was really cool because it will allow you to game stream, but not only if you have NVIDIA's special GPU or whatever magical uh, shit that GP, uh, GPU, that fucking NVIDIA tells you you have to have or you can't game stream. So for those of you who maybe wanted to game stream but uh, were more interested in NVIDIA's... I'm sorry. Oh my god. What the fuck? They were more interested in AMD's uh, products. There is a solution that works with basically anything, including NVIDIA. NVIDIA, uh, it works with AMD, whatever, whatever the hell you want. Um, and it also will give you the ability to map, uh, touch controls on the screen, which is something that NVIDIA won't even put in game stream, which has been asked for a million times for people that just want to play a little, you know, stream a little game, but don't want to drag a controller with them everywhere when they have their tablet. Okay, there we go. So now this game, and I have this tablet here for a reason. Because this is, of course, not a game stream device. This is not a game stream PC. It's a Windows tablet running like, uh, what the hell is that damn processor that they put in those Windows tablets? I forgot, whatever. But it's not running any NVIDIA friggin' game stream crap. And I'm going to be streaming from the tablet to the tablet. <laughs> um, and this is, both are connected to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, the same 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So we have this application. It's called Kino, Kino Console. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, and it's... I know you could do this kind of thing with Splashtop, but it's a pain... Splashtop is a pain in the ass, normally. If you have AMD, you have to use, like, borderless full, uh, full screen or just windowed mode, whatever. And I just... I tried it a million times and just... It made me want to put a drill through my head. So, this is more along the lines of like NVIDIA's game stream where you can launch individual games uh, from the tablet and they launch in full screen and they work as opposed to fighting with Splashtop or Kaney. Okay, so I'm going to launch the only game. It really works well. There's two games. These two work. This tablet could barely handle this game. And yeah, there you're gonna have performance issues. This is just a shitty little tablet. It's not a gaming PC. It's just I'm showing it to you. Because this is the only thing I have that's not running um a game stream GPU, in fact, or graphics card. In fact, um not only is that the case? But uh, that the, I only have one other PC, and that's the Game Stream PC. So, um, however, if I was richer, View Tech USA, I'd have a thousand PCs. <laughs> uh, okay, enough of that. So here we're going to launch this game, and uh, it's a little buggy on this. Okay, so now it's going to want to bug out for some reason. This, this. This doesn't like to stream properly. From my PC it works fine, but it likes to fuck with me. Let me see if I can get this, because it, it does actually work. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, try to get this to work properly. And not, there we go. A little weird with the tablet there. Yeah, this isn't the most, ex uh, you know, the most powerful game to ever run in the planet Earth. But, I wanted to show it stream some streaming something, um, well, like I said, this, this tablet is not going to run and stream, <laughs> uh, like, intensive games. So, this is, I'm just... In this, we're assuming that you actually have a decent uh, setup here. <laughs> and by that, I don't mean a thousand dollar game PC. So, but yeah, we're just using a, a little uh, Windows tablet to uh, to stream.
and it's working fine, and I can't play. I mean, the only thing is, is there's a low res up, uh, low, low frame rate. There's a low frame rate. If I was running this on my PC, I would have a better frame rate. But, but as you see, we have the touch controls. We can create our own uh, profiles. If you want and edit controls? You can add other controls to it. The only thing it's missing is R3 and L3. Some for some reason people forget those exist. And they have not added that, so... Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this kind of thing with a, with a shooter or something. It's fun to try, but, um... Yeah, it's not something you're gonna want to do. Or at least seriously play like that. It's just something you try for fun. Outside of that, no. But, yeah, you see it works. Um... Unlike NVIDIA's game stream, you can't just long press start and, and force close the game, you have to actually just exit out of the game, um, or it'll keep running. So, and quit the desktop, and there is delay, but it's like normally fairly okay. There's delay, but fairly okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I can launch Burnout, hopefully. Get it to launch in the proper... There we go. Now, this game tends to get some bad input delay. Because, I mean, it, the tablet could barely run it. My tablet can just barely run it. And I've actually set the resolution higher than, than it, it could actually... I don't know, handle. <laughs> it could kind of handle that resolution, but not really. Okay. Done being annoying. All right. Here we are. Uh oh. You know what? I may not want to have that playing. <laughs> you know, with the fucking YouTube and their goddamn copy. No, no, bad, bad. Uh, stop, stop. Stop playing that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> but I can't have that playing in the video. Um, because, yeah, the evil YouTube Nazis will get me. Okay. I really wish I could play the audio. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, let me show you the latency. Remember, this is the source. This is actually handling the game. This is streaming. Um... So, but there is some bad latency. And this is not as good as NVIDIA's game stream when it comes to quality with some games and stuff. But it's not terrible or anything, and it, it just it works really well um, with a decent PC. Come on, what are you doing? Okay. Hit. No. I that was better than last time. Second. Actually, it's a lot better. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's that. It's a little. Yeah, I see it's stuttering and shit. But like I said, it's this tablet could barely freaking handle this, this game. I'm not very good at driving a bike, especially not with two fingers. Yeah. So that's that. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, um. Dude, it did a lot better this time. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, there it is. That's. That's that. Also, look, it's full screen. <laughs> because, um, I changed the resolution to match the screen on here, which these are both, uh, 16 by 10, uh, screens. And. <clears throat> Because, um, yeah, because it's 16 by 10, it fills the screen, which doesn't happen on NVIDIA's uh, solution there. They force you to use um, 16 by 9, and you get black bars. 
Huh, what am I doing here? I forgot. Oh, I want to... You can change the size of the buttons and the opacity and everything. But they do have some work still to do on this. But this is quite cool. If I can only... Um, the correct thing here. Okay. So we'll just try to get out of here and then Okay, so now we're on the desktop again. I can just hit this, hit disconnect. Now I'm going to be back with the second part of this which is going to be streaming my desktop to the same application. Okay, so this is not just useful only for people who have AMD. If you were looking to have touch controls or something um, with your game stream PC, you could with this. Because obviously NVIDIA is, has no interest in um, uh, making any kind of game profilers or anything. So, I'm just going to swipe that off. I'm going to turn this one off and be right back. All right, so now I'm back with my PC, my full PC booted up, and I'll be showing you how it works with that. Now, the PC I have is hooked up wired, and I am on the 5 gigahertz connection. It is a game stream PC. Um, where the frick are we? What are we doing here? I don't know. Uh, this. So, I have more games on that. So, here we are. We have all these games running. Things that I added. A couple things that I had to do. This game doesn't really work because of the lack of R3 and L3. Uh, well, it, you can run it. Well, I'll show it to you. So, I have made a touch profile for it. And it will have to launch the game. It always brings up the desktop, then it launches the game. Uh, if Steam's open, I believe it has to actually end Steam and restart it or something. And it just crashed. Or something. Oh. It's doing something on my PC. Apparently, even though I actually installed it, it has to install again. Uh, okay. It's installing a bunch of stuff now, even though I already did that. I don't know why. Oh, good. My battery's dying. Excellent. tra -la -la. Well, now it, it's booting up, but I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Let me just raise the volume there. And this is achieved with CryEngine 3. So playing this, like I said, is not gonna be easy with this kind of this kind of setup here, but whatever. And of course you can't log in. Uh, hit skip, zoom game, and there we, looks like we were out of focus before. Are we still out of focus? I don't know. In fact, I'm going to prop this up, have this case here. I might as well. God damn it. I'm not sure that makes it any better. I may want to not prop it up. Let's see. Eh, I don't know. I don't think it makes any freaking difference. So. Now, like I said, I can't do anything past this part here.
Also, you may want to reset your network. You know, never hurts. So if you're experiencing any kind of drop frames or lag or whatever, try resetting your network, rebooting your PC, and rebooting stuff. What about for none of us? Can I just get past this? You, you have a big cock. Hey, got a little lag there. Well, I really wish I could pass this. As beautiful as it is, I'd love to pass it. Gave you my life. Promise, promise me. Fine. It's all I can do now. Will do you, will you do that for him? Will you find Gould? They used to call me prophet. Remember me. Hey! How do you do that? So <laughs> we have this. Huh? Now, th this stick is what really makes it hard to play. <laughs> but, uh, you can move around. This, I can't shoot because I have no ammo. Um, I can't melee. I can't do anything, really. Because there's no L3. Um, but, you can move around and stuff. Jump. You can see it's a little delay there. So certain games you may not want to try that with. I don't know. Okay, so that's that. I'm just going to get out of here because I can't do anything in this game with the touch screen at least. You can use a controller with it, by the way. <laughs> Alright. I'm getting out of here. Getting back to the desktop. Once you get back to the desktop, you'll have to hit the back button, hit disconnect. And then we can load up another game, maybe load up something a little less intense. And just like more of a game that you would probably more likely to be playing on a touchscreen if you were going to. I don't know. Uh, this, this can be a problem. <clears throat> Let's go here. Bring the thing back up. Hopefully we can find it. Yeah, there we go. So, let's do some emulation. I had to do a little bit of tweaks to the emulator to get this to work. It was giving me a black screen. Um, I don't use OpenGL. I use, uh, what's a face? There's, a, there's OpenGL and something else, and I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the name of anything. But I had to set it to render to the emulator's window, where all you, you have the list of games. And I had to set it to borderless full screen instead of regular full screen or it gave me a black screen. So, but that fixed the problems. But now I can launch games from Dolphin. And it zooms in like that. That's actually really cool. Because it doesn't do that on uh, the shield. But that's one of the things that was actually ended up being a problem. Because that's why I had to have it rendered to this screen. Because it, it latches onto the screen. So, if it opens up a new screen, I can't use it. So, we have here our buttons are all mapped out. And we have Mario Kart Wii. And you can play Mario Kart Wii <laughs> uh, with, with this. This works really well. Okay. I don't know why the buttons are like that. Oh. They're like in here. <laughs> so, whatever. Oh, wrong, wrong thing, I think. No, A is right. So yeah, we have Mario Kart Wii. 
Going on there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yes, yeah, right. Stop or spawn them. Then it'll work fine. Then I think you get the point. Uh, the only thing I could say is uh, for this, I don't have any way of getting out of the emulator. <laughs> uh, maybe double tap? No? Something? Yeah, I don't have a way of getting out of the emulator. I have no escape button. And that's how you have to get out of the emulator, as far as I'm aware. I don't know if there's any other way, but that's it. Um, so, my battery's dying, so I might as well end it there. But that was a cool app I just bumped into on the Play Store. And, uh, for all I know, it could be, like, a really big app, and I, I'm, I'm the last to, to know about it, but there it is.